Hi, I'm Xu Jiangyi. Hi, I'm Yu Kangzhou. Hi, I'm Dai Zheng. We are from SMJK Zhongning Bad World. Now we are going to talk about sustainable planetary health for future generation. Planetary health is the health of human civilization and the state of nature system, living or non-living, on which it depends. For example, what humans have done can directly affect the quality of the environment. And with the low quality of the environment, our human life will get affected too. In fact, humans are trying to develop a sustainable planetary health in the past few decades. The human population is getting healthier than ever before. Issues like life expectancy, poverty, and child mortality have been improved. Yet to achieve this, we've exploited the planet at an uncontrolled rate. It affects the ocean acidification, tropical forest loss, increase in carbon dioxide emissions, energy use, water use, and fertilizer use. On our current trajectory, we'll put even more pressure on the planet, which leads to population growth, high grain production, and water demands. All of this will lead to one of the biggest problems in the world, climate change. Warmer temperature over time is changing weather patterns and disrupting the usual balance of nature. Climate change has risen the world temperature, rate of infectious diseases transmission such as malaria, and natural disasters such as flood, causing estimated 250,000 deaths per year. I'll explain to you the effects of climate change. As temperature rise, more moisture evaporation worsen extreme rainfall and flooding, resulting in more destructive storms. Warming ocean also affects the frequency and severity of tropical storms. Since a few years ago, Malaysia has been actively battling climate change. For instance, a town in Kedah named Baling recently experienced the worst ever flood. In addition, global mean sea level has risen about 8 to 9 inches since 1880, which means the coastal region of the world will also be flooded eventually. Several impacts of sea level rise are already being experienced by the coastal communities of Malaysia mostly due to coastal erosion and coastal flooding. To safeguard human health, we need to maintain the health of the planet. We could start off by reducing food waste. This is because 30 to 50% of all food produced is never consumed. Reducing food waste means less land needed for agriculture, saving energy, water, help to protect biodiversity, and improve the food security. On top of that, we should use water more efficiently Although a drip or trickle irrigation system are expensive to install, they can be 33% more efficient in water use. In short, we should contribute to the Mother Earth from now on, as damaging the planet damages human health.